Hello, uh, my name is Xiang Mei Su. Uh, my friend normally call me Su Xiang. Uh, I'm a multimedia artist. I do photography, painting, video, and installation. I came from Suzhou, China, but I'm living in Vancouver now. I think when I was a little, I always liked drawing, but I actually I never th I thought I'm going to be an artist until I came to UBC. So I took a one elective course for the drawing, just for fun. But when I went to class, I was so excited, but I don't understand. So I totally lost in that class. I was like, had a horrible time. So I'm thinking, what's really art is? It's, it's, I'm so curious about it because it's totally different uh, uh, from what I thought before. Before I, I thought drawing is art, you know, and do some color, painting is art, but it, it's not. It's not just about that. So I read lots of art books and I um, went to different galleries and tried to explore what art is. So this curiosity and uh, takes me so long and finally I've become an artist. And through art, through, um, art practice, I want to find who I am because uh, it was so confused at the beginning when I just become a new immigrant in Canada. I always feel the, uh, struggling with uh, my background and with a new culture. Of course, I want to learn new language and a new culture, but at the same time, my like uh, old route will pull me back. So it's kind of complicated. And at the same time, I found uh, very interesting the um, art could be a, a way to explore the world. And at the same time, it will be a very good communication with other cultures and uh, other uh, different communities. I think uh, um, my artwork is all based on um, my uh, personal experience as a um, new immigrant. Um, this gave me lots of inspiration um, to create artwork. And also my family uh, story is gave me a lot of the ideas. And also try to use this kind of story to communicate with uh, other people, other communities. We share the very similar experience for the like uh, uh, immigra immigration experience. Uh, Pro Professor Gu Xiong in UBC, um, he, uh, he inspired me a lot about explore the culture, the idea of the culture. Um, uh, we talked a lot about uh, the identity and how this culture will form like identities. So um, his uh, artwork and also explore the new immigration and ident identities. He did a lot of installation. Um, I found the installation and the painting or video and also photography can come together. Then make the whole story more complete and more fine. Um, at the beginning, I talk, I, uh, when I was little, I was uh, so involved in drawing. I draw a lot of characters and different, you know, beautiful objects. Um, but when I studied, uh, uh, um, studied in UBC, I tried to use different uh, media. I used painting, I started painting, I started to do the video, I started to do the photography, and also I do start uh, installation. For me, um, I think this is just uh, the, how can I say, the tools help you to build up artworks. I didn't limit uh, myself to use only one medium. Um, when the idea come to me, or when I think some ideas, um, I also will try to figure out what media is perfect for this idea. Right now, my um, uh, main idea is focused on the, my uh, my identity, like based on my family story. So my family story is a, there is a weaving story. So recently I use lots of the thread as my main media to create artwork. Of course, I use also the uh, painting and the drawing as well. Uh, 
um, normally I will do lots of sketch because like daily, I always uh, keep one sketchbook in my bag. So whenever I'm like sitting there or somewhere like, alone or something, I always do sketch. I uh, have this uh, habit for many years. So I will record what I see, what I feel. Um, but uh, I, I re really like the Mongeo uh, because he simplified the forms. So when I do the sketch, I always simplify the forms and uh, then combine all these forms together, make a, a kind of like story. Yeah, I was uh, thinking some like new artworks um, recently. Um, I think I will cooperate with some like digital media and uh, with my artwork because I want to layer of the different lives and different identities in this society because our society is not simple. It's a there are a lot of layers, there are a lot of forms. So I think it's very interesting how I can cooperate with this like, uh, uh, digital media and uh, with uh, traditional media and uh, with different material can come together, then shape the, uh, the, the artwork become like, very meaningful for the society. Um, <laughs> my, my art style is uh, I think it's more like, uh, um, sometimes I think it's like sketch, like for the painting. Um, because I like the sketch, do some like drawing and, uh, in my sketchbook. So it is more like writing. It's like uh, uh, instead of write the words, I use uh, uh, the shapes and uh, different forms to write a story. So my, my artwork is just my writing. <laughs> I think uh, the the most uh, I think the significant is uh, cultural shock. Um, when I uh, first time came to Canada, I had a like a big dream. I want to study here. Then they were so excited and everything is new. Vancouver is a very very beautiful city. When I arrived, uh, just arrived here uh, in the autumn, so beautiful the colors. I was amazed. But the real life is different. You have to face the new language. I, I don't speak English. I didn't speak English at that time. So I have to uh, learn the new language and then I have, have to learn the new culture. I have to meet different people. Actually, I was very shy at that time. So it is very challenging. So I think that kind of experience um, um, makes me really um, tough time but at the same time gave me lots of the ideas. Um, the experience this tough time gave me lots of the strength to explore the art, explore the culture, and combine these two together, then become my artwork. Um, for the traditional Chinese painting, um, they are more focused on the spiritual like uh, um, more focus on the the feelings but for the western culture i think they are open more like uh, they have more styles and also they more focus on the concept it's not, not just the feeling not just the um uh, in chinese we call it yi jing. it's kind of like the kind of the spiritual environment i think for the chinese painting and uh, it's more like a meditation for me but uh, uh, for the western culture i think more expressive and uh, they especially recently the con contemporary art they are more focused on the ideas so they are very different even the uh, technique is very different um, I think art opened my eyes to see the world very differently. Um, before, when I learned like math or you, you learn the physics, this, the every culture, the form is the same, right? The formula is the same, but the art is so different. The culture shapes lots of the, I think affects the uh, art press a lot. You can see the different countries, they have different style art. So I learned a lot. It, it, it really opened my eyes to um, see the world really uh, different and also um, I have a big mind to accept 
different cultures and different peoples. I think it's um, it's totally changed how I how I uh, how can I say how I um, how I how I understand the word. Yeah. I think um, la uh, past two years, the COVID affected the market a lot. Not just the um, art society, also others. But now it seems to uh, coming slowly coming back. I, I I saw lots of galleries uh, close during COVID nineteen. But right now there's new galleries and new art events coming back. I think it will be getting better and better. I have quite many, and um, um, in this uh, coming show, I have uh, uh, two set of the artworks that they are telling different story. Um, but this one behind me, I combine these two set of the artwork together. Um, there are two stories actually together. Uh, we can see the, the black and the white. The, it's a, I, I'm talking about the weaving history, like how the traditional wood loom uh, right now, until right now the most uh, um, new machine, weaving machine. Then on the top, you can see the red line. It actually the industrial pipe. But I uh, ship it in the way look like the uh, Suzhou uh, traditional gardens uh, uh, structure of the door or window. So this is a talk about the, uh, uh, my hometown in China have big changed. Um, it is um, Suzhou, but it's not quite the Suzhou as before. So this is artwork command, lots of stories in it. Um, I think when uh, I graduated from UBC, I went back to China, stayed there for a few years and I started my studio and I started teaching. I started to create work at, uh, um, in China. I helped my mom to organize a, clo uh, organize a closet. So we found lots of the traditional clothes, uh, which we found my grand grandma, my grandma and my mom. Um, but uh, I, 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 I don't know how to weave that. But uh, I remembered uh, I remembered I saw them sitting on the loom to do the thing. So I was uh, standing there, I feel very touched how this like one generation by one generation and suddenly it's cut. So I think uh, I start to use this particular material to apply into my contemporary art practice. I think uh, um, like uh, social media is a very good way to follow like artists to uh, show their works. I think it's a good way to like uh, make good communicate with the people uh, not in the same city. They have like from all of the world. Um, then you also can see lots of different artists. Um, they have different styles, and you can learn a lot, like from uh, this. Uh, Base. I think it's very good. Yeah, this is a very hot topic. Um, uh, last time uh, when my friend, like we have a conversation about the AI, and um, she's mentioned maybe, you know, we're gonna lose the job. <laughs> but I think for me, AI is uh, maybe will become a kind of uh, like uh, style of the art painting. But uh, I don't think they can replace a uh, human artist um, because AI more like uh, collect different resources that already existed. Then they combine together, then they will select, then make the artwork depending on what the requirement it is. But for the like uh, uh, human artists or like us, we have like a uh, different experience. We have different feelings then we can use this personal experience, can create something new. So I think this, I don't think this can be replaced. Okay. <laughs> okay.